I think you need to explain, Matthew, why you have like half a macaroon on your head. I thought I looked like one of the um, one of the bad guys from Mario. gonna be the moment of truth. We tried to store it after the capsize but it sent the spark plug was wet. So now, oh, the spark plug is still wet. Matthew hasn't dried it still. Oh, so we're trying it. I don't think we're going ashore tonight. Look what happened, Matthew got the tender fixed. We went to bed last night with a very unhappy, hungry Matthew because we couldn't go to shore to get a shop in but he's changed the oil this morning and he's got a smile on his face so looks like things are getting better now. Now we've just got to drain Nova who's turned into a bathtub. So after we've done laundry this morning by hand, um, Matthew's pants are always fun to clean when they're uh, by hand. I don't think he heard. But uh, we've been trying to figure out why we our bilges keep filling with water, only occasionally and only when, um, well yeah, only occasionally. So we think we might have found it. Fingers crossed this is what it is and it isn't anything to do with the keel. Because if it's the keel then ugh, we're gonna have to have it out and it's pretty much the end of our adventure. So what we've done is filled this bathroom with water. Because yesterday I flooded it. It's been the most flooded that we've ever had at the, uh, boat from not closing the seacock so close your seacocks but if I turn the camera around I'll explain why we think this is what it is so flip it around so in here if we go up this section this section here is a hole and it leads straight out into all our bilges so when the water goes over here it goes up and through and to Matthew pretty much so I'll take you through to Matthew and show you what that side looks like. The Matthew's in here, so we think the water comes, don't lift your head up, thinks it comes through there, into this bilge below Matthew, and then it washes through into just here. So fingers crossed, that's what it is. Seems like the most likely cause, because the water's quite salty, which explains it. So uh, yeah, Matthew's just stuck, got his head down there for a while, and everything from the cupboards is out on top again. But this also explains from our earlier episode what the uh, water in the bilge was. If you remember, we had a leak in here. Oops, sorry. And that's when I forgot to close the seacock as well. We're gonna go ashore, get some work done, and then Matt's little brother is flying in for like half five. So when we film again, we'll have a new addition to the crew. And someone's very excited about this, he's up here. His mini me's arriving. Yeah, looking forward to my little brother coming. Yeah, so we're gonna be sailing around and checking out islands while he's here for a week, so that should be really cool. So what have we got, Paige? A new addition to the family. To the family? To the crew? Oh, to the crew. We've already got him as family. And he's in tiny whiny... He's up here, look. <laughs> and he's trying to get cold, cool because he says he's too hot already. <laughs> you can't really tell because of the light, but he is bright like a, uh, like a star. He's so white, so... What is the white? Probably like that. That's that's super white, yeah. Almost as white as the. Uh, like actually, I think the the uh, gel coat is actually less white than oh, you, Robert. Is this filming? Yeah. So today we're just off um, from our anchorage in Pitta. Pitta. Point de Pit. Point de Pit. I don't think that's what it's called, but in Guadeloupe, we're going to go to one of the smaller islands. But I'll put a map because we don't actually know what it's called. Less Steiners or something. Is it where Napoleon's Fort is? Yeah, we're Napoleon's We're going to where Napoleon's Fort is, so should be a nice sail. We've got 13 knots of wind at the minute, and there's a big cruise ship coming towards us. I'll show you that. I think you can see it. It's kind of hard to. Yeah, there we go. So we're in the channel at the minute, so I'm going to put the camera down and stop distracting Wait. Matthew. <laughs> Page, Page is on the helm. Women driving. 
just proving that we're not that bad. And um, we've got the whitey from Blighty. Careful guys, you might need sunglasses on to look at him. He... <laughs> He's blinded. It is blinded. So we've just arrived here. What's it called, Ronald? Uh, Borg de Sintus <laughs> on the island of Terra du Hot. Robert's first You're day in the sun. Right, and he's way. burnt himself. Despite wearing factor 50, 20 and 50, combined factor 70, I was on. Uh, he's burnt into a vest. <laughs> Matthew's got a D at the back of his head, but I don't think you can see it. Maybe you can, yeah. We've, uh, yeah, so you got a, you got a sun cream in these countries, but we're at the beautiful bay now. We'll do a panorama, slowly. And now we're gonna go ashore. You alright, Robert? Yay! Look how he is. He, yeah, he's not the whitey from Blighty anymore. He's the reddy from Blighty. He's uh, got himself burnt. Today we're going to go up to Fort Napoleon, aren't we, Rob? Yep. And have a look around there. Are you filming me? Robert, Robert uh, pretty is much, a, yeah. He's a history, history. Yeah, he loves loves history. That's what he's doing at uni. So we're off to look at the fort. I can't tell you about the fort though. <laughs> no. Not a clue. Not a clue. You alright Rob? Yeah. What, what are we waiting for? Oh, the fort to open up. What time does it open? Nine o'clock. And it's currently 0841, so we've got a little while to wait. I feel like I'm in an interview or something. <laughs> he's, not, he's not quite used to uh, being filmed yet, are you? No. What's happened to the map, Rob? We've been erased. <laughs> Where are we? Fort Napoleon was originally named Fort Louis, but was destroyed by British forces in 1809, rebuilt in 1867 and renamed after Napoleon. It never saw use in battle and was instead used as a penitentiary. Today you can visit the fort which has now been turned into a museum. I think you need to explain, Matthew, why you have like half a macaroon on your head. I thought I looked like one of the, um, one of the bad guys from Mario. So what is it? It's a local fisherman's hat. It's what the fishermen would wear. Guys from Mario. Toad's good. Is Toad good? Yeah. Is Toad wears this? Yeah, Toad's the one with a mushroom on his head. <laughs> yeah, sorry, it is Toad, yeah. Oh, oh dear. He just since I played Mario. Come <coughs> anyway. on, carry on. So the local fish, it's like the uh, local fishermen would wear these when they go out fishing. It lets the breeze go through and keeps the sun off your head, but you also look like an idiot. Are you going to be wearing that when you sail? Yes, yeah, I thought I'd wear it from now on when I sail. No. No, it's to go with my hat collection, with my Madeiran hat and my Rasta hat. All right, Pitch, where are we? <laughs> Robert's on the back with his pins on and he's so pink. <laughs> Here's the whitey from Blighty, he's yeah. definitely getting a tan. He looks like a drumstick lolly, gone wrong. <laughs> anyway, uh, we've just actually moved around to the next bay, so we were just anchored where the red roofs were, well, moored where the red roofs were. We've now just came around the corner to this nice little bay, so it's more private, there's not many boys, and it's 13 euros a night. So it's quite actually really nice, so we're going to jump in for a swim. Uh, there's nothing around here, but uh, we'll, we'll show nice them around. beach and we'll show you guys around. Oh, up oh. above page at the moment there's an abandoned fort. Oh yeah, up there. There's so an we're... abandoned fort, so I think we're going to go hike. We could see the sunset from up there, maybe. Yeah, no, that might be good, sunset yeah. Sunset hike. 
because it's not it's too hot to do anything. Or we can go sit on the beach. Yeah. Anyway, it's nice. Robert's going for a swim. We'll show you around. Whoa. Whoa. There we go. Being filmed. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, wait. No, he's got to throw me. I'm okay. not. Ready? No, what you can say this is Spartan. This is Sparta! Where are we off to? Uh, up to Fort Josephine, I think it is. I might be wrong. And then what are we doing? And then uh, they've got some barbecues on the shore, so we're going to go and have barbecues because we've got a load of chicken drumsticks. We're going to make them edible. Go. You Mav, you got the other baby now. <laughs> He's stealing the little goats one. Oh, Matthew, there's another one coming now. Just to eat it. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Sorry. Is this the one you this is this is one of your friends, man. No, no, he's not it? the one I helped. <laughs> no, it's not little bug eyes, your favourite. Um We're off now, bye bye. Oh that was cold that. Not even a hug. Uh... They're all going to Robert <laughs> and his baby chicken. You know what? You know what? <laughs> <laughs> Why are they all? You fancy some more drumsticks? <laughs> Oh yeah, just one scratch on his sunburnt arm. Oh. I'd be down. So we 
we went back to the boat and now we're back on shore for a barbecue. Robert's over here taking picturesque photos. Matthew's being a caveman and making us a fire. And behind me, when the light settles, is a big square rigger and Nova. How's it going, Matthew? I think you were supposed to make a barbecue, not a bonfire. You have to build up the end. <laughs> I'm joking. The next morning we set off to Pigeon Island. arrived and I've jumped in for a quick call down because it is boiling um, the guys have gone to the local dive shop to see if we can fill our tanks because they're still empty from Barbados and we want to go and dive the island across from us um, I don't know the name of it so I'll find out and put a little note in here um, this island has been rated in the top 10 dive spots in the world by Jack Cousteau so yeah, it must be a pretty cool dive thing for him to uh, have rated it that high, so that's what we're going to do tomorrow. Tonight, we're literally, I mean, it's like 6 o'clock now, so we're just going to chill out, eat and watch movies, and then tomorrow we're going to up early, and you can only anchor it, well, you can't anchor at the island, you have to do a, use a mooring boy. There's only two on the island, which can only be used through the day, so you go, we're going to go get up early and try and sneak in, get the mooring boy, dive, Come back, anchor, and then we'll be heading off to a new location again after tomorrow. Join us next time as we dive Pigeon Island and set off for Antigua Classic Yacht Regatta.